guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lenora T, aka Balsativa. Subscribe! I'm so excited to be back. Thank you guys so much for all the love on the last video. Like, you guys, you guys got my heart, okay? Thank you so much. I didn't think you guys would be interested in like pregnancy stuff because like I don't know I just thought you guys were not gonna be interested but the feedback shows that you guys like that kind of stuff thank you so much and we pray that God will bless your wombs in the mighty name of Jesus okay your own pregnancy journey will be far better than mine okay and hey if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on my video my name is Lenarati I'm a lifestyle youtuber I do makeup fashion lifestyle um, today's video will be talking about my top pregnancy must haves like the things I've been using so far that have literally saved my life especially at the beginning not only at the beginning but basically throughout my pregnancy these things have helped me a lot and I just want to share with you guys and whether you're an expecting mama or you're not it might just be fun to find out the things that have been carrying me through right first things first I'm going to talk about my vitamins these are the vitamins I've been using it's very important that during your pregnancy you take prenatal vitamins every single day like don't you're not even allowed to skip a day so these are going to provide your body with the vitamins that you need to help the baby grow because there are certain vitamins that are very essential in like the baby's brain brain development or like um, for yourself for like hair growth or your nails or stuff like that so vitamins are very important I personally use this one from Walmart it's a Walmart Walmart brand is it a Walmart brand I got it from Walmart I don't know but it's gummies and this was the only way I was gonna be able to take my vitamins because in the first trimester I was so nauseous and anything I put in my mouth I wasn't throwing up but it made me feel like I was going to throw up and even though I threw up like twice or three times this kind of helped because they were gummies they felt like candy and um, because I was craving candy also it helped a lot because I was you just have to chew it right it felt like you're chewing candy this one has folate and DHA those are the main things you want to make sure that your vitamins have folate and DHA I was also taking these iron pills along with the um, prenatal gummies and then I ran out of these ones and mind you there are 90 gummies in them so I've gone through 180 gummies and then right now this is what I'm using I bought tablets because I'm tired of gummies like it got to the point where chewing gummies was just like ugh it came together in one packet so I, I just know to take both of them and this one has iron so I don't need to take my iron pills anymore so I just take these two and I'm good to go but after these I'm switching back to gummies because this tablet is huge and I'm not here for it another important thing that you need are your panty liners I use these ones from always. I used it before pregnancy and I still use them. This is going to be TMI, but you're going to have a lot of discharge down there during pregnancy. And so you don't want to mess up your panties and panty liners. Are what are what is good are what is going to save you from all of that stress. So yeah, these are life savers. You definitely need them. For me, this are this is my favorite brand, the always ones. I just like them, I don't know, probably you have something else that you like but panty liners are a must. Next, I'm going to say shaving cream because at some point, I mean at the beginning I didn't need this. Down there, I can't see nothing, okay? I use, I use a shaving blade for my armpits and I use... Um, I just trim down there I just trim I just like to trim down there I have a pair of scissors that I use to just trim but now I can't see down there because my tummy is huge my belly is huge at the beginning that was not a problem but right now I cannot see past my stomach like from down here I can't see anything and so I use this 
to just apply I can't see what I'm doing so I just take it and I just apply it down there and after what six minutes I can wash it off next is your water cup this is this has been my best friend from the first day um, I didn't know about that until I went to the hospital for my first appointment and the doctor told me I'm supposed to drink a gallon of water every single day day but I'm supposed to drink a gallon of water every day which is about 60 something ounces or 70 something ounces. I'm not sure I'm gonna put the conversion on the screen and I'm supposed to drink that amount of water every day so this cup I got this cup because it's insulated it keeps my water cold when I put um, ice cubes in here and my water it keeps it cold and um, I just refill it every time I, I just not have to fill it up three to four times in a day and I love the fact that it keeps my water cold and um, yeah I take it everywhere with me if it, it fits perfectly in my car cup holder it's not one of those huge cups that cannot fit in your cup holder this one fits perfectly I love the color and basically I take it with me everywhere and I have my water cold all the time and I'm able to stay hydrated next is my stretch mark cream for my stretch marks so before pregnancy I had stretch marks but they were not too crazy I have stretch marks on my boobs I have the light stretch you know like the stretch marks that are light light skin the stretch marks that are light I don't know on my boobs and then I have the dark stretch marks on my hips and on my I think on my butt on my butt I have the light stretch marks too and then on my hips I have the dark you know like the real dark stretch marks I used to be so super super skinny and then when I started gaining weight I developed stretch marks I've never been bothered about them I think they're very cute I don't mind them some people are so bothered about stretch marks but I'm not but I use my stretch mark cream just to not I don't want it to get worse so I use my stretch mark cream. I got this one from Walmart. It's the cocoa butter from the Palmer's cocoa butter one. Um, there's another one that everyone uses, but when I saw this one, it said intensive treatment. So I was like, it probably works better than the other one. So I bought this one. Unfortunately, it's finished. It's like a sheer butter consistency. It's hard, and then when you apply friction to it, it melts into um, oil. Yeah, so it, it, it melts into an oil and I just apply it on my belly, I apply it on my boobs and on my hips because as um, during pregnancy your body um, stretches to accommodate the baby, right? Your belly stretches, your boobs grow bigger so your boobs are going to stretch as well. Um, your hips get wider as well so I put it on all those areas. Before I even found out I was pregnant my boobs were growing and they were itchy. I had no idea that I'll wake up in the morning and my boobs are super, super itchy. So Boo and I decided to Google it and we were Googling it and trust me, it kept saying pregnancy, pregnancy, your boobs are growing, pregnancy. But I was like, nah, my, my period is coming, my period is coming. But later on, it all made sense. Your body is changing and all these things are growing and stretching, they're going to itch. And you don't want to scratch them. When you scratch, that's when you create that's when you, you make the stretch max worse so even when my boobs were super duper itchy I just took lotion and I I mean I scratched it because I didn't know any better but later on I, I just used lotion to apply it this is my pregnancy pillow this is what I've been using this has been a lifesaver so my pregnancy pillow <laughs> so when I came back from Cameroon and I was reading a lot of articles about pregnancy I saw oh you should not sleep on your stomach and that's how I usually sleep. Don't sleep on your stomach, sleep on your right side, sleep on your left side, preferably sleep on your left side. I started practicing that even before I was showing. And for some reason, when I slept on my side, my knees, like, 
I could feel the bones touching each other and it, it was so uncomfortable. I don't know if it's because I lost weight, but it was it was a feeling that I'd never felt before. Like I could feel my bones touching each other and I hated the feeling. Yeah, I put a pillow in between my legs. I could never sleep without a pillow in between my legs. And so I went online and I saw people talking about pregnancy pillow. I did not know pregnancy pillow was for people later on in pregnancy, like when they have huge bellies and they need more support on their back and stuff like that. I bought it, what's the problem? I'm gonna attach a picture here, but yeah, I bought it, I think it was like $40. And when it came, it actually helped a lot. Like, it's soft, it's, um, I was able to use one part in between my knees and then the other part acted as a pillow and then the other part acted as back support. So it was actually pretty good. But now that I actually need it because I'm bigger, it feels uncomfortable. I don't know why, but I just use pillows. For now, I just use my pillows. Roland is like, oh, you're not using your, preg your pregnancy pillow, whatever. And I'm like, please, I'm over it, honestly. It's even making my neck hurt sometimes, so I'm just like... And then to turn around, is it's such a big deal because when I sleep on one side and put the pillow in between my legs, if I'm turning around, I have to undo it and then turn on the other side and do it. Nah, too much work. Too much work. I'm not doing it. Period. Poo. Yeah, I have the pregnancy pillow there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's here. And then another thing is it occupies a lot of space on the bed. We use a queen size bed. And so when I put it on the bed, it occupies so much space. And I just feel like it's not fair to um, roll in because it takes a lot of space. So I'm just... I'm over it honestly, but it's very comfortable. It it helped me at some point. It might help you, but it's a must-have, okay? I don't know how I just convinced you that it's a must-have, but yeah. A pregnancy must-have is your God. Because without God, I don't know. You'll be nothing. You will not even have the baby. You will not even be alive. You will not even be here. Okay? So that's another pregnancy must-have. Like, we pray every day, we thank God for our lives, we thank God for, for the, 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 we, we thank God, f we thank God for our lives, we thank God for family, for friends, for the gift of love, friends, family, we thank God that we even have the support from you guys as well, because you guys are just like, awesome, I thank God for you guys every day, because without my platform and without, um, my subscribers, I wouldn't be doing this at all and I'm happy that I'm able to impact people and you know inspire somebody you know in whatever way I don't know but yeah we thank God for a healthy baby a pregnancy has been smooth so far we thank God for the glow I've been receiving so many comments about my pregnancy glow it's God though it's God you're gonna decide that hey when I'm pregnant I want to be like this you know what I mean and for me, it just came natural, and I'm so grateful to God because it's all Him um, for bringing us so far to this pregnancy, for having friends that support us and subscribers that support us. Um, a lot of people have been buying from our registry, people we don't even know, and it's so crazy. Thank you so much. So yeah, God is a must-have. God is a pregnancy must-have because He's the one that brought us on this journey and He's the one that is going to take us through it and He's going to take us out of it and He's going to take us after it. This is a, this is another pregnancy must-have. <laughs> my boo. <laughs> this is my boo. This is another pregnancy must-have. He has been so supportive even though sometimes he makes me hungry. <laughs> He has been so supportive. I'm so grateful to have him have him with me. Whether it's food rubs or massages or helping me go get food or make food. He has just been awesome. Roland is just like great. I don't know what I'll do without him. I know there are mothers out there who are doing this without their partners and I give them like all the kudos in the world because Sometimes I try to imagine myself without Roland and I'm like, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. Like, honestly, he's God sent and I'm super, super duper grateful for him. Please, you guys should thank him for me in the comment section, please. 
thank you anyway guys we've come to the end of this video those are my pregnancy must-haves I don't think I can think I don't think I've forgotten anything those are the main things that have really taken me through and um, yeah I, I can't think of anything else and um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave your questions down to the, down in the comment section I'm gonna try my best to answer all of them thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like share and all things nice I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to all the stuff I've mentioned in this video so that you can get yours thank you so much I will see you guys in the next video bye